All right, homework uh, four, whatever it's called, this is the spider force. Uh, and we're being asked to first uh, draw some free body diagrams. Uh, and I'm gonna see if I can be fancy and color code these a little bit. Let's start with the force of gravity because that's always our easiest one. Um, let me look at this real fast. I think uh, we're given a little bit of information later on about the mass of the spider in the meal. So I'm just, not that you had to know that or had to do that correctly, but while we're at it, let's just be as amazing as possible. So there's my uh, forces on the spider. In fact, let me just call that M sub S G and M sub M G. Because we have the force of gravity on the spider and the force of gravity on the meal. And later on, we're going to combine the two together. And I want to give them slightly different coefficients so we can keep them straight. All right. Those are our forces of gravity. Uh, then on the spider, there's also going to be a normal force that's equal to the force of gravity down. I think it's about there. There's my, um, let's change change that real fast. Let's just call that capital N for normal on the spider. And there's capital N normal on the meal. Okay, that's good. Uh, now we have the force of the spider. For, spider's getting pulled backwards by that little meal. Uh, so I'm going to call this one the tension force. And it turns out that the meal is pulling the spider, or is being pulled forward by that same tension. And I did try to make these ones the same color, so you can see that they're a related force. They're actually the Newton's third law pair, equal and opposite forces. So there we go. I made that uglier. Uh, and then finally, there's a couple more forces. There's a force of friction. Uh, don't care what color it is. I guess it's going to be red. There's a force of friction on the meal. Oops. Uh, on the meal. And there's a much larger force of friction on the spider. That's the force of friction of its feet as they kind of come in contact with the ground. And instead of sliding against the ground, they let the spider walk forward. That's my spider crawl. Uh, cool. So then when we combine those all together, we're going to get something like uh, I have the spider force, force of friction on the spider forward, the force of friction on the meal backwards. Uh, I have a couple normal forces, a normal from the spider, normal for the meal. The lengths on these might not be quite right, but uh, force of gravity on the meal and force of gravity on the spider. Okay, next thing, it just asks me to write the uh, equations for the horizontal direction. So for the horizontal direction, I'm going to end up with an acceleration here is equal to uh, the friction minus the tension over the mass of the spider. For this one here, it's uh, tension minus friction. I just decided that this direction is going to be positive. So this is a positive force. This is a minus force. This is a positive force. This is a minus force. You can see that reflected in my equations. That's over the mass of the meal. But both of these equations are going to be useless to me for um, solving because I don't know what tension is. This last one, though, when I solved it for the whole system, becomes much more solvable because I know that the acceleration is going to be equal to the force of the spider, uh, friction on the spider minus friction on the meal, all over the combined mass, spider and meal. Uh, so this is way more useful for me. I'm going to borrow that down here. Acceleration is friction on the spider minus friction on the meal all over mass of the spider plus mass of the meal. And I can just plug in numbers now. Uh, friction on the spider is 5 newtons. Uh, friction on the meal is 2 newtons. Mass of the spider is 1 kilogram. Mass of the meal is half a kilogram. That works out to be 3 newtons over 1.5 kilograms. Oh, that looks like it's 2 meters per second squared. Cool. That one's done. Thanks for watching. Hope it helped.
like and subscribe. I don't know, whatever. Uh, wow, that's how much like I've heard people say that, that I just say that at the end of my own videos, even though I don't care and it doesn't affect me. That's weird.